We're here at CERN and I cannot tell you how excited I am. I'm going to be meeting Jamie Pinnell today and he's going to be telling me how engineering meets physics. We're going to be going to Atlas, an experiment that happens. I just can't wait. This is a dipole magnet. It's part of thousands of dipole magnets that are used to bend the beam of protons that accelerate around the Large Hadron Collider. It also weighs 33 tonnes and is about 15 metres long. So we're not talking a small bit of kit here, we're talking massive scale. That's what it looks like on the inside. So we have two beam pipes. So we've got two beams of particles traveling in opposite directions and they are going round each proton 11,000 times a second. Per second. Per second. And the reason why particles have to be collided together is because you kind of want to smash them to pieces, don't you? We kind of want to know what happened in the Big Bang. I mean, that's the whole point of CERN. So the only way to understand what happened is to recreate those conditions, and that's exactly what we're doing here. This is called Rutherford Cable, and without the invention of this particular cable, you would not be able to have a modern particle accelerator of any sort. The magnets and those rely on this technology here. I mean, it may look like a bit of cable that you might throw away. But actually, it's absolutely essential oh, it's to this lovely. giant experiment that's totally. happening here. This is where engineers really come in. It's so gigantic in here that even birds fly in. <laughs> We're going to go to the point where these particles smash together yep. and they're analysed. Yep. We are going to go and see the Atlas experiments. And this is where we finally meet Jamie Pinnell, a mechanical engineering technician at CERN who works on Atlas. This is Atlas. Wow. Nine years I've been working on her and I still say that. So it hangs from the top, 300 tons. 26 metres wide, 26 metres tall, and that fat. And it takes about two hours, two and a half hours to get from one side to the other. It's just so beautiful and so impressive. I mean, this is a major piece of engineering here that we're standing in front of. Uh, you look puzzled and that's completely fine because it, it's mad. What is this doing? This is a really fancy camera. So you have two huge clouds with billions of protons in each, they pass over each other. And then when all these particles come flying out, uh, we have our camera built around it. All of those little aluminium tubes, each one of them is a, is a particle detector. So what's fascinating about your role here is that so much physics is happening, yet it's less important that you know about the advanced physics and it's more important that you know about the engineering. No physics gets done down here. Everything that you see is pure engineering. So on one end, you've got engineers and physicists that work together to decide the needs of the experiment. And on the other end, you've got data coming out where the physicists will then figure out what's been found. In the middle, we've got all the engineering. So what we do today in order to get to the center of the experiment, very different to how we used to do it, 15 years ago in, in 2008. There is one uh, great example. Um, so the big blue section in the middle there, that all comes out every single year. That's around 150 tons of steel and concrete. And that used to be a two week operation. And now all of that can come out in a day. Wow. And that is where engineers really make a difference. Does someone who isn't necessarily an expert in physics and maths end up doing such a cool job? Uh, so I never went to university and this is a big thing that a lot of people are surprised by at CERN. A lot of people think you have to have a PhD, you have to have a master's in physics to work at CERN. They don't realise that we have every job going. Well Jamie, it's just been so incredible to kind of look around, take the tour and see people working on this magnificent piece of equipment. I have to say today has been absolutely incredible. We're gonna to have to leave now and I'm sad to go. And actually being here in person has really shown me the importance of engineering because CERN has always been about physics in my mind, but actually it's the engineering that makes the physics possible and that's why it's so special being here today.